Hey guys and girls, thumbs up from me as usual. Welcome to my channel, the Royal Love Festival Survival Channel. And in today's video, it's all about the Carrymore SA Jaguar uh, 55 to 75 litre camping backpack. Basically, it's set up for all year round, winter and summer. So I'll go inside and I'll show you what I keep in it guys and girls see you in a sec Okay guys and girls, welcome back to my channel, the Real Life Festival Survival Channel. Thumbs up again as usual from me, God bless you all, I thank God for the grace. And as I was saying outside about the camping backpack, I was going to bring it inside, put it on the table and show you what I keep inside and some other little bits what I keep on the outside and some other little bits that I'll take with me as well that I've got on the table. But I'll try and go for everything um, as, as tidily as possible. But before I do that, I'll tell you a bit more about this backpack. Um, I paid £38 for this bag. Recommended retail price was £165. So I've got, a, got it at a bargain price. Um, what I'll do is I'll show you a card. I'll actually read through the, the specs first. It's the Jaguar 55-75 to 75 litre backpack. You can use it as a back, uh, camping, uh, wild camping, bug out bag, whatever you want. Um, so basically it weighs 2,700 grams, features SA back system, which is fully adjustable. It does have an aluminium frame in there, so you can move it up and down as you like, it, depending on if you're tall, short, you know, how, however you want to set it up. This whole um, system can move up or down on your back, which is fantastic. So adjustable shoulder and chest straps, hydration system compatible, 3-point X-wing compression, base compression straps, rope compression strap. So if you want to do, like I've got a little rope um, in here, climbing rope with carabiners on there as well. I could put this on this backpack if I wanted to, if I was going to do any climbing or descending or ascending. I could actually put this on the other side of the bag. I'll turn it around in a second and show you a bit on the, the other side as well, the front. Okay, so moving on with the back as well. Um, okay, where was we? Expansion side pockets, exp extending lid with two pockets, U-shaped ba base compartment and main body access, lid shock cord carry system, front and wand pockets, internal compression straps and mesh pocket, front grab handle and it's got a rain cover in there as well. So that will be, you know, the stuff that's in there, I do have it in, in some waterproof bags as well. Um, uh, the stuff sacks but it does come with a rain cover as well now if you want you can pause this and have a little read okay hopefully you can see that so if you want to pause that you can have a look at the bag as well and the specs now moving on I've got another little card here for you to read as well tells you a bit more about the bag I think it's a fantastic bag for 38 quid remember to look out for the bargains guys and girls so, okay, if you want to pause that, have a little read through as well. So, fantastic bag, picked up for £38. Now, it does have some really nice straps, shoulder straps here. The SA system, it's got a carry handle on this side as well as the other side as well. What I'll do quickly is I'll quickly have a little run through of other things that you might put. Um, what I'll be wearing, I usually wear cargo trousers trousers that I've got on at the moment. These are the Viper contractor pants, cargo pockets. 
And what I'll do is I'll bring my little BCB mini mess box. I'll whack that in my pocket. Also, I'll also bring my Claris torch, which is a fantastic torch. I've done a video on both these items actually. If you want to scroll down in my video section, look for the SAS PSK BCB mini mess box and you'll see what I keep in here. Really fantastic bit of kit. So I'll whack that in my cargo pockets if I'm going camping in case of emergencies. And I'll also bring the Claris which is a serious light. Um, it's got a fantastic strobe feature on there. Sorry about that guys. So yeah, I did a video on this light as well. If you want to scroll down in my videos and check out the Claris video I did as well. This is the, the Claris X, XT12 GT. So I want to bring a serious light with me and a little survival kit. Along with that, I'll bring the Obviously I'll bring the case for the torch as well and I'll also bring this in basically in here I've got like a couple of O uh, rings as well just in case I need to replace the ones on the torch. I also got a spare battery in here. Let me just open it up and I'll whack that in one of my cargo pockets as well. Okay guys, it's also got the, uh, the charger right there as well. It's also a magnetic charger. Okay, I'll bring that as well. Uh, another thing that I'll bring with me on this particular camping trip is my Solomon boots, Gore-Tex Solomon. I did a video on these as well. If you want to scroll down in my video section and look out for the Solomon boots, you'll find out a bit more about these. Really lightweight. Now, because the, the bag, I weighed it earlier, and it weighs at the moment um, 37.5 pounds, okay? 37.5 pounds. And that's without water, so it's not a lightweight kit, but it's not a super heavyweight kit neither. Now, um, the, the setup I've got in there at the moment, I, I believe I've got about a, a, evening, a day's worth of food, 24 hour day's worth of food. But on the side here, I've got more food just down here, if you can see on your left hand side. Okay, just down there you can see another selection of food, but I do have more food inside. I'll go through that when I start opening up the bag. But like I was saying, I'll bring these boots with me and also underneath my cargo trousers, what I'll do is I'll bring these knee pads. Now these are Lonsdale knee pads. It's got a little hole in it, but it's got a nice padding for your knees as well. So let me just come across. I'll put them underneath these pants, right, to protect my knees if I'm camping. Now it's up to you, um, you know, how long you're going to go camping. Remember to take enough food. For, for the camping trip, if you're going to do 72 hours, remember to take three days worth of food. Now I've got it set up at the moment for 24 hours, a stealth camp in the evening, but it's also set up for winter. Okay, now generally I keep all the stuff in there and I just leave it as it is. It's an all round kit, so at the moment I've got the um, army basher in there, but I will show you what I've got inside as well. So okay, the knee pads. And... I'll also bring one of these just in case I need it for my wrist if I've, if I've damaged my wrist. Now, you might be wondering why, where have I been? I haven't put a video up for a little while. I actually broke my little toe last Monday. So I've been a bit injured. That's why I haven't been on, on YouTube for a little while. So I'm back now. I'm catching up. I've got to do a couple of other videos. I did promise. Um, prepared camping that I was going to do a steak challenge, show us your steak challenge. So watch this space, I'll do that. But moving on, um, what I'll do, I'll also show you a couple of other things I'll bring with me. I'll bring a waterproof cap, but it's also got fleece on the inside, so it's warm. Um, you know, we're coming out of winter now, coming into spring, but I did have a waterproof hat for this kit. Okay, uh, nice pair of Gloves, leather gloves, waterproof leather gloves. These are the Northern Ireland gloves. And I do have an extra pair of um, nice warm wool gloves here. But these are the good thing about these is you could actually use your phone. It's got a little feature on the, on the fingers right there. I don't think you'll be able to see it. You might be able to see the different coloration, the black and the grey. So basically, these would be good for if you've got your little phone, your mobile phone or your little tablet, you'll be able to use them with your gloves on. Okay, extra insulation. Like I said, I've got my Shemag right here. And 
I've got my Carrymore Elite jacket right there, which is 10,000 mm, so it's definitely very, very waterproof. Uh, I really like this jacket, it's the Elite version, okay, and I've also got the waterproof bottoms inside there. But what I'll do is I'll start opening up the bag and show you what I've got inside, and what I'll do is I'll start with the side pockets. So just bear with me guys and I'll show you what I keep in the side pockets. Actually before I go into the side pockets let me just tell you a bit more um, about the stuff that I keep on the outside. Just on this shoulder strap I've got a whistle right here, a little emergency whistle. If you can see that little orange whistle right there. On this side I have a cup, I just undo the carabiner. Um, Usually I'll keep this cup on the inside, but just for the purpose of the video, I wanted to show you, it's actually a double walled, walled cup, so it keeps the, 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 the hot water really hot, keeps your hot drink nice and hot for you for a long time. It's quite lightweight, this mug probably weighs about 50 to 60 grams, something like that, possibly a little bit more, so I'll keep that on the outside. Uh, also, in here, on the strap, I've got a couple of dog bowls as well because I do have my dogs. Okay, this is a fold out one. You may have seen these before in my Regents Park videos with the dogs. Okay, got to keep a couple of those for the dogs right there. And also, right here, I went and bought myself a little glass case a couple of weeks ago, Mountain Warehouse. Just, just bought the case for $2.99. Basically, what I've got in here, I've got some fantastic glasses. These are actually shatterproof and you know I can't remember the name at the moment but I'll show you them they're actually shatterproof they're about nine pounds I mean if you do want to know the name anybody wants to know anything that uh, you know what I've got here just leave me a comment below and just say where did you get that from or what is the name of that or whatever you'd like to ask me just please just leave a little comment below and I'll get back to you okay now these are shatterproof uh, glasses I do believe they're shooters glasses, fantastic bit of kit, like I was saying, I bought the, the case from Mountain Warehouse and just whacked them in there, so I've got my, my shades and my safety glasses right there, um, moving on, what I'll do, I've actually got a carabiner over here, excuse my back, these are the GM carabiners, fantastic, really lightweight, 53 grams they weigh, really lightweight carabiners. I usually like the heavyweight ones but I saw these and I picked up two of these for $14.95 okay it's got the screw gate on there and always remember guys if you're gonna do any if you think you might be doing any climbing just remember to, to just you know read through everything through your safety and just get some instruction as well before you do any of that of how to use your ropes how to use your carabiners and also, you know, if you've never done any climbing before, ascending or descending, just, you know, try and brush up on that skill. Very good skill to know. Okay, so these are GM climbing carabiners. And there's the specs. Uh, hopefully you can see that on there. Okay, 24KN. So these are really good pieces of kit right here. Excuse my back for a second, guys and girls. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spin it round quickly and show you the other side. Like I said... It's got really good padded waist belt. It's got the SAE back system right there. It's got a carry handle right here. And let me just spin it around quickly. All right, guys and girls. Now, before I move on as well, please forgive me. Um, in other videos, I have said guys and girls many, many times. So I promise you today, I won't say any more until I get to the very end, okay? Right. Because uh, a few people have said I've said it too much, but you know, I'm not a professional. I'm trying guys, I'm learning, so I'm getting there. Right, we have a carry strap right here, and we also have a carry strap right there as well. Okay, so like I was saying, there's nothing else on the outside. Let me spin it around. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off with this side pocket right here. What I keep in here. On the very top, I have a bag of clothing, but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do a separate video on the clothing. So basically, 
in here I've got a couple of bits like a hat, balaclava and stuff like that but what I'll do is I'll do a separate little segment on all the clothes set out together just quickly show you what I've got in the side pockets okay so more clothing items there in here I've got a Sawyer Mini and with some extra things like goo uh, drink some electrolytes some sports beans I do like my sports beans other things in here I have some water purification tablets inside a bag you write in there okay in here I also keep some cordage some jute twine and some builders cordage really nice strong cordage right there string okay and of course my Sawyer Mini and the accessories that go with it okay right that's all I keep in that side now going on to the other the other pocket right over here to your right hand side so undo the compression straps and the zip uh, to do with the water I basically got one of these um, SAS bags keeps about two liters of water in there over two liters of water fantastic bit of kit it's got a carry strap right there so when I get to my destination I'll fill up this bag from wherever I can and process it okay so I do have the two dogs with me and uh, basically depending on how many days I'm going to be staying how many days I'm going to be camping you know um, you know I'll have the right amount of water with me as well okay moving on got a carry more bottle right here so this is a new one I just bought this the other week and uh, really nice bottle it's got the little drinking thing right inside there so it doesn't all fall out on your face okay I've got one of those now it's the good thing about these they do come with one of these type of things right here you can hook it up on the outside and uh, you know get get to your water whenever you want but in this particular kit I keep it inside this pocket right here okay now what I'll do is I'll just put all the water stuff on the table and show you quickly what I've got so I've got the the caramel bottle right there which I can after processing my water uh, inside the backpack I've got an actual, actual pot and a small pan so I can either put in water when I go on my journey in there so I've got water on the way so after I've processed it as well I can put it in there using the, this bag right here that foldable bag which I showed you okay my water soy mini and my cordage and other little drink, uh, drinks in the electrolytes the dog bowls and my cup of course and also on this tin you can actually use this tin for boiling water if you wanted now in this tin I've got uh, water purification tablets and another bag for processing uh, after for processing water as well another thing which I didn't mention within this water pouch uh, you saw my soy mini other little bits and pieces I do have some reusable zip ties right there they're quite large I don't know if you can see them there but these are zip ties I didn't mention them earlier so I've got the zip ties in there as well right so onto the top of the bag right here I've got a zipper compartment right there and if I turn it round and undo the straps right there turn it back around again what I'm going to do is actually take out what I've got in here, lay it on the table and show you what I keep in this very top pocket here. So these are the items laid out here that I keep in the very top pocket of the actual uh, bag as well. Starting off just here, I've got a Kuglin's first aid kit. Uh, actually it was marked at £20. And I picked it up for £15, got it at a special deal. It's my friend in the shop. A functional assortment of first aid essentials for short treks and weekend camping. Um, basically what I've done is I've actually stuffed a few bits and pieces of my own in there as well. Other bits and pieces, diarrhoea tablets, other medication, um, painkillers, something for your stomach, gastro, stuff like that. And if you want to pause that, you're more than welcome. 
and it just tells you basically what's in this in the first aid kit. So I have a, quite a good first aid kit. Put a few bits in there myself. It's the it's the first aid kit um, by Kuglands. Okay, it's called the Trek Two. So that you do need a first aid kit when you're out and about, even for everyday carry. I also got a Bible in there. Uh, just here I've got the SAS Survival Guide, fantastic read. Obviously the Bible is the most important. In here I have a headlamp to go along with the Claris that I carry. Fantastic look, carry more headlamp here. It has the um, red function as well as the white function. Let me see if I can show you it very quickly. Okay guys and girls, I said it again. Anyway, right. There's the light in there. It's a really cool piece of kit. It's the carry more lights. I believe it's around about 150 lumens headlamp. Actually, I've put it. I've treble treble wrapped it. So here we have it. That's what it looks like. Really good headlamp. So I've got one of those in there. A couple of extra. These as well, they're basically Velcro, you can put anything extra in your bag if you want. Just have some hot chocolate here, uh, some soap, some shampoo and a nail file, got to keep the hygiene going. And some beef jerky for, for, for some snacks along the way. And within this little pouch, waterproof pouch, I have a right in the rain notepad. Uh, Glow stick, sharpie pen with some Gorilla Tape wrapped around a sharpie pen and a pencil and a pen in there as well in a nice little waterproof pouch. So that's what I keep in the top pocket on the, on the top of the bag. So that's all the items I keep in this top pocket right here. There's nothing else in there. And it does have actually on the very top of the bag has elasticated cordage uh, thing here. You could put your hat there, you could put a jacket on there, you could probably get a um, tent on there as well, bed roll, whatever you like at the top there. So that's handy. And let's move on to the front of the pack. Now, on the front, it does have a nice pocket right here. There is another pocket in the lid, but I'll come back to that when I go into the main pack. But on the front here, it does have another pocket. Now my dog's having a play outside in the passage, both of them. So it's got a nice little pocket right here. What I'll do is I'll open it up just to quickly show you. It flaps down. And inside here, I keep my basher. Now I do have a tent in this kit. I'll bring the tent out and what I'll do is I'll show you the tent and the basher at the same time, British Army basher, but I'll come back to that. So that kept, that's kept in this front pocket, which is really handy, because the first thing you'll need when you get to your, your site, wherever you're going to camp, is a covering. So that's why I keep the basher in the very front right here, easily accessible. I don't have to go open up the pack, I just open up this pocket, and I've got a basher inside. Now that's all I keep in there. Now I don't always bring the basher if it's if it's summer summertime, you know. Like I said, this is an all year round kit, so I could bring the basher. Uh, I'll come back to that in, a, in when I show you the, the tent. Now, um, of course, I can use it in the in the summer as well because it does rain a lot in England. So that's what I keep in the front pocket here. I'll undo the compression straps at the side, which I've done so. And there's actually another pocket, another larger opening, which is the great thing about this pack. You can actually get into the main compartment through this uh, pocket, which I'll open up, through this pocket here, opening, or through the very top of the bag as well. Okay, so you can get in the main bag from this part or the very top of the bag as well, which I'll show you in a little while as well. But moving on. I'll undo these compression straps down the bottom as well. Fantastic thing, it's got loads of compression straps. So what I'll do is I'll open it up. Now, I'll just show you that you can actually get into the main 
compartment from here as well. What I'll do is I'll lay it flat and I'll start off with the, the, the contents of this bat in this pocket right here. Okay guys, so just bear with me. So I've laid it down on, this, on, on, its, uh, on the back side there. Just inside here, it has a buckle, if you can see that here, and basically it stops you, so as you open it, say for example you've only got the zips halfway opened, you can actually get into the bottom of the bag so you can get your sleeping bag out and other bits and pieces, and basically just saves you from dropping it, for anything dropping out of your bag. It does have a buckle, like a type of belt buckle right here, and just undo the buckle, and uh, you can just pull the whole thing open, so it's a type of clamshell. And what I've got in here, uh, this is a nice compartment, I've got a stuff sack in here, what I'll do is I'll pull, it, pull this out. So you have got quite a large pocket right here. As you can see, very large pocket, you can get a lot of stuff in there, basically what I've got, I've got this whole stuff sack, stuff sack in here, waterproof bag, and I keep some stuff in here. So what I'll do is I'll empty out the contents of this bag, which I keep in this large uh, compartment here. And I'll show you what I've got in there. So in this dry sack, which is actually a carry more small size, uh, you can get quite a few bits and pieces in there. What I keep in this bag is an extra light bivy bag, fantastic bit of kit. This is the WTX 206 grams, 10K rated, weather right extreme. So this is a bivy bag to keep my water, my sleeping bag nice and dry. And I've also got a carry more cotton sleeping bag liner there as well, which is a, let me see the weight of that. I, I think it's around about 200 grams as well. So this is the, the, it's also got a nice little stuff sack and a nice little handle there. Now if it is really hot, I can just use these in, co in conjunction with each other. Um, if it's really really cold I do have a sleeping bag but what I do is when I get my sleeping bag out I'll show you the whole sleeping system when it's all together okay so basically a bivy and a cotton sleeping bag liner as well spare set of wool socks always got to have a pair of dry socks wool socks we are just coming out of winter time and this bag was really set up for winter okay so I've got myself a pair of commando socks right there I do have a Van Gogh deep slip pillow quad right there just a blow up pillow basically really good bit of kit I picked this up for 5 99 they're normally about 10 11 quid and I've also got one of these lights right here I'm going to turn it on I don't want to blind anyone really nice bit of kit uh, basically got a few different functions there flashing and this is the Thor fire it's also got a charging um, dock on there as well so you can charge up your small items it's a solar powered light right there. It does have a nice little handle so when you're in the camp. And a really cool thing about this light is it opens out like that. And you can put it on your, your campsite upside down. And like that way. Or you can have it like I just showed you a little while ago. Use it as a torch. Okay, so I keep one of those in there as well. Got the charging cable with that and some spare batteries for my headlamp in there as well okay so that's all the items that I keep in this dry sack and that's on the inside pocket okay so I've showed you what's in the front very front pocket the army basher I've showed you what's in the inside pocket right there now what I'm going to do as you saw earlier this bag sort of fell out Basically, I'll show you what this is very quickly. Now, I do have my dogs with me. And basically, when I get to my campsite, wherever I'm going to go camping, basically, this is a nice long chain right here with a couple of clips on there as well. 
And basically what I do with this, right, this is what I keep my dogs chained up to. On the inside of the bag, I'll come back to the chain in a second. Actually, let me just zoom in a little bit. I'll just get a bit closer. On the inside, it does have a couple of compression straps as, along with the, I told you, this little clip that clips down a buckle and it just locks it down halfway so you don't have to open it all up. Okay, it keeps everything tidy. And what it has here, it's got similar buckles right here, compression straps, you just undo them. That's the beauty of this bag. You can compress everything in so much that nothing moves around. So I'll undo these compression straps right here and I'll come back to the chain. Uh, what goes with the chain? Basically what this is right here is you screw this into the ground. Okay, you screw it into the ground and it's got a nice little um, ring right here. It's really strong. And you basically put this onto your, onto your dog. Onto here, excuse me. Okay, and that way at night time you don't want the dogs running away from camp or if you're doing something during the day and you want your dogs to just be secured. Okay, I've got one of these as well. Really handy bit of kit. You can put the dog's collar on the other end. Or you can actually use this as a collar, but I don't actually like using this as a collar. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Excuse the noise. So basically you put your dog's head in there. And I don't actually like using this on my dogs, but I just use this bit here and I put that onto their collar with either a carabiner or something like that. So I'll keep that in there. So this is for my dogs. Right. Now, this is the main compartment right here. And basically what I keep in here is I have a foldable seat right here. This is a chair. You just undo it. It's got its own little bag. I do like to have a chair when I'm camping and basically this is just a little 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 three-legged chair. Um, let me just see if I can open up the top for you guys. Just to have a quick look. So there we have it, just a simple little fold-out chair. Okay. So I've got one of those in there as well. What I'll do is I'll lay everything out as well at the end of the video so you can basically see all the stuff that's inside. And what I'll do is I'll try and go section by section. So there's a little chair right there. And first item I'll pull out is my wash bag kit. Now, basically the stuff I keep in this wash bag, and I put a shoulder, shoulder strap on there as well if you want to put it over your head. And I have a little bracelet right here, which is a carabiner. Excuse me, a uh, paracord bracelet. It's got the fire starter on there as well as a whistle what I've actually done this is the kit that I've made a little survival kit in this as well so in case I've got to dump this I've got stuff in my pocket my BCB mini mess box my Clarius light with a spare battery I'll have I'll grab this as well if I can and basically if you want to scroll down in my videos and look out for the wash bag survival kit you can see what I keep in this bag right here okay uh, made a little survival kit. I've got lots of different bits and bobs in here. So just in case I've got to dump the main kit, I can grab that and go. Okay. So like I said, scroll down in the video section, check out the wash bag survival kit. Right. What else we've got in here? Um, right here, I have the Gillette self-inflating mat. This is the Gillette. extreme light really nice bit of kit what I'll do is I'll flash up a little video in a little while and show you this where it's laid out with the basher and you'll see what it looks like okay and Moving on, this is the Ferino Light Tent 2, fantastic bit of kit, it's got all the uh, poles in here, the tent stakes and all the cordage necessary, 
what I'll do is I'll, I'll put a little video up for you guys to see what it looks like. This is actually green and the one that's going to be in the video that I put up now is actually a different colour but it's the same tent. Uh, if you want to pause, have a little read through what this tent looks like. I picked it up at a price, uh, I've got it in a sale, £170. It's not the cheapest, it's not, or it's not the most expensive but it's a fantastically lightweight three season tent. That's why I've got the basher with me. Um, if, if it is summertime and I don't need the basher, I could just use this on its own. It does have a um, mosquito net on the inside. But like I said, check out the video. Here's the specs one more time. And then I'll carry on with the video. Fantastic. It's got a grab handle here. And it's a really nice tent. Ferino Light Tent 2. Okay. Moving on, I've got my pots and pans system right here. What I'll do is I'll just make some space on the table and show you what I keep in this pouch right here. So this is the contents of the pouch, which I just showed you. Nice little pouch right there. Uh, I've got the pot and the small frying pan. This is the Carrymore it's actually a four piece kit but what I'm going to do is because I'm only going for an overnighter um, this is set up for an overnighter stealth camp 24 hour kit I'll only bring these two okay but like I said it is a four piece kit normally it goes together with with these two uh, it's a bigger pot and a bigger frying pan really good bit of kit four piece kit I bought this from Carrymore I believe for about 20 pounds they're normally about £40, something like that. And then you can see the Explore stove I've got here. But I'm not going to bring the Explore stove because it's quite big. And there's the case for the stove that I've got just here. I mean, yeah, for the stove right there. Okay, so this is normally, if I'm going to go, if there's a couple of us, if there's two of us, I would normally take the whole lot, these two bits and those two bits right there. Okay, guys. Right, some olive oil. Spice kit, little gas canister right there, like I was saying the little stove, it's got the little ignition on there as well, I'll bring that, little expandable cloth, washing cloth right there, little brew kit with sugar, dry milk, tea bags, some coffee, a little stirrer in there, a little bit of salt just in case, I have a little bandana and three of these towels. Just add water and they expand out, really cool these are. I've got these in my, all my kits and most of my bug out bags, kits and uh, fantastic, work really well. So that's what we have 
in that bag I just showed you. So what else have we got inside here? Right, uh, here I have a food bag and uh, I'll come back to that in a second. Another thing that goes with my sleep system, I have a Gillette um, floor mat, it's cloth, nice cloth on one side and it's waterproof on the other side but what I'll do is when I put all the sleep system together I'll show you a bit more about this, this uh, mat right here. Okay, uh, I'll flip this down. In the very top of the bag, which I've also got another pocket here which I'll go through in a little while guys, right, is some gaiters. I've got a couple of gaiters there with the clothing, I'll show you all the clothing in a little bit. And I've also got the waterproof trousers that goes with the, the jacket as well. And what I'll do is I'll put all the clothing together and show you that in another little section. Okay, I'll come back to the top pocket right here. Let me show you. Right here, the top pocket. Actually, while I'm here, I'll show you quickly. Uh, just got a couple of items in there. I've got a X-Ped dry sack and large black X-Ped. These are really good dry sacks if you want your stuff to be nice and dry. I think the X-Ped are a bit better than the Caramore um, dry sacks. They're not exactly 100% waterproof. I mean they do the job but I don't think you could submerge them in a river. I don't think you can submerge this in a river neither but I mean if it was thrown on the top of the river it would probably float and keep your stuff relatively dry. So yeah Another couple of things, a couple of glow sticks I keep in there in the top pocket and just put them back in there and that's everything. I showed you the top lid as well. Okay, now this is a food bag right here so I'll come back, what I'll do is I'll lay everything out and I'll show you. But before I do that, I actually found this pouch. It belongs to, it's called Phil and Ted's and I think this is actually from a pram and I found it brand new and uh, I thought wow this will make a great food bag so I'll, sh I'll show you that in a second guys I'll lay everything out on the table and I'll show you what I've got in there so I found this bag brand spanking new it's like it was sitting there waiting for me Someone had thrown it away, it was actually at the back, back of my block near the dustbin. And uh, there goes my little dog wanting a little treat. There we go CJ, good boy. So yeah, he wants a treat, otherwise he's going to cry. So I found this pouch, fantastic. It's like it was sitting there waiting for me and I thought that would make a great food bag. And as you can see, it's got Velcro. I can actually put this on the outside of the bag if I want to, or I can put it through my belt and use it as a dump pouch, or collecting stuff in, the, in wherever I'm camping, use it for collecting wood, or other bits and pieces. So there we have it. Watch out for the freebies as well. So yeah. So within the, in that pouch, I've got a couple of pouches of oats right there for my breakfast. Um, nice little flapjack right there. Flapjack, raspberry and white chocolate, really nice, tasty. Little Nature Valley Crunchy Bar, sneakers. So actually I could get away with spreading this if I had to, ration this for two days actually. actually when you see what I've got, I've got these um, Waitrose lentils suitable for soups and casseroles, rich in fibre, rich in protein. Now there's quite a bit there, let me try and see, there's 250 grams right there, so I suppose I could have half of that with the half of the Uncle Ben's Mexican bean rice, tasty, delicious, so I mean that is a really good meal for a day actually, I mean that's why I brought that, that's for a 24 hour ration pack right there for myself, I do have a brew kit, I do have hot chocolate, so we've got Uncle Ben's, lentils, the, 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 the snacks right there, the porridge oats, 
I do have a Finesse City titanium spork right there, really lightweight, long for getting into my into my food bags or if, like I said I've got my, my cooking pot so I d actually I did a video on this um, spork so if you want to scroll down in my video section look out for the Finesse City titanium spork um, you know you can see um, some more information about this spork right here I've also got the Moira Basic fantastic bit of kit okay now remember the, the, the knife laws in the UK we're not allowed to carry knives but if you book ahead a camping site like I do I book them ahead, I phone ahead, I say I'm coming at this time and that way you know if you do get stopped to say well actually going camping there's the phone number of the place and you know if they ask you why you've got a knife say well I'm going camping I need it for my food, processing my food etc processing wood because a lot of the places where I go camping uh, you can actually have a fire right little bellows, pocket bellows right there and actually in this pouch I've got the Tom Shoe Titanium Folding Stove, fantastic bit of kit. If you scroll down in my video section you'll see that I've made a video of this as well and uh, you can see me making a brew, I always like my brews. So this is the Tom Shoe um, Foldable Titanium Stove, let me just pull it out for you guys. As you can see there it's been well used but I don't like throwing the package in away. I always keep the package in just to keep everything nice and clean and tidy. The Tom Shoe Folding Stove. Okay, so let me just have a quick look. And also, what I use this piece of material for is just to lay out my pots and pans and my cutlery and my food. And it's like a little, little table mat. I like to have my stuff on top of that. So there we have it. That's what I keep in this pouch right here. So moving on to the next section. So always remember, if you're going to go on a two day trip or on a three day trip, to have the right size pots, enough food for yourself, enough breakfast for yourself, enough snacks for yourself, and also the pots and the pans, make sure you've got a stove, I've got a couple of stoves in this setup, uh, I'm not going to bring this pot and pan with me, I've, within that food sack right there, I've got the folding stove, so I've got two stoves, I've got the gas stove and I got the wood stove right there so I just wanted to show you this little section right here and let me just throw in the cup as well obviously you need something to drink from now you can't I don't think you can actually uh, boil water in this well I think you might get away with it because it's not double wall at the bottom but it's double walled at the side so you may well be able to get away with boiling water in this cup as well okay um, I haven't tried it I might do actually so it's the double walled, but I don't think it's double walled at the bottom there. It's stainless steel, so I don't think there should be any problem. Fantastic mug, I use this in my house as well. Okay guys, so move on to the next section. So right at the very bottom of the bag, as you can see, it's got lots of different compartments. It's got a different compartment there, it's got plenty of compression straps, plenty of ways to keep all your stuff nicely um, together as you can see it's got these straps right here and they work really well to keep all your stuff nicely compressed and uh, at the very bottom here this is where I keep my uh, sleeping bag but before I pull that out I've got one of these little foldable mats right here and I suppose you can use that for sitting on and you can make a makeshift table to go along with that cloth I just showed you with my food bag so this is basically a little fold out um, mat, floor mat, kneeling mat and also down in here to go along with the cooking I have a little windshield right here so I should have showed you that with the cooking stuff but I'll show you it now anyway I'll keep that down in the bottom there and it's just a windshield and I do have a spare long spoon in there just in case I lose my spork I've got a nice little stainless steel spoon in here, long one Okay. So that's a little windshield, carry more. I keep that just above the sleeping bag. Speaking of which, let me just pull it out, show you. And this is the carry more four season sleeping bag, winter down to minus two. As you can see there, I've had this sleeping bag for a lot of years. Fantastic bit of kit. 
it's got a compression strap on there as well so I could just squeeze it really nicely smaller than this okay so this is what I keep in the very bottom and I've also got a tarp as well another tarp in here lightweight tarp okay so I've got the basher and I've also got a floor mat and what I'll do now is I'll put all my sleeping gear and show you let me just have another quick check inside here it's actually a really big compartment in here and no there's nothing else in here so moving on at the very bottom of the actual backpack this is where it's got the compartment where it's got the waterproof rain cover right there at the very bottom so I don't want to pull it all out because it's nice in there nice and neat in there so basically you've got the you've got the the rain cover for the main the actual backpack itself okay really nice little compartment down the bottom there and that's where the, the rain cover is so this is the complete sleep system and also the shelter all all out laid out on the table my sleeping bag and the basher it's all the basher does come with cordage you also got the bungees in there as well I did show you a an example of the basher setup okay so we have the the bivy right there the uh, sleeping bag liner right there the pillow the floor mat another tarp to go below that floor mat, the Ferino 2 tent, the foldable leaning mat right there, and of course the lightweight, extreme lightweight inflatable mat right there. So basically, this is all my sleep system with the shelter kit all together, and this is what I keep in this kit, my camping kit. So just a quick look at the bag while it's empty. And then I'll show you a video of the clothes section and another couple of bits and pieces that I've missed out that I didn't show you yet. So we've seen that the top of the bag has got two pockets. Uh, it's also got a really nice closure. Nice that uh, you can fit plenty of space in here. And at the very top of the bag as well, it has another one of these buckles. So when you've stuffed everything inside your bag, you can just compress it down as well. So that's a very handy little feature right there. You can comp compress everything down that way, in this way. It's very got, It's got loads of compression straps all the way around it. That's what one of the things I really liked about this bag. Really good material, quite waterproof material. It's also got the rain cover. Okay, and there goes my dog again. So like I said, it's got the carry handle on the front and the carry handle on the back. Uh, plenty of space to put other things on there, walking sticks. Uh, rope on there as well like I was saying you can put the rope down here okay so this is what it looks like when it's empty and it has got a place a pocket in there for a uh, water bladder again the compression straps so you can keep everything really nice and organized overall I really like this bag and uh, plus it's got the SA uh, back system there as well which I thought was really 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 good okay and uh, really padded at the back padded waist strap padded shoulder straps very all good good bag all round so what I'll do is I'll move on to the next section guys okay so quickly now I'm just going to cover hygiene because I don't think I spoke about it I think I did show you that I do have some soap right here and some shampoo and a nail file right there. I mean, I can use that in conjunction with the Shemag anyway. So, but basically, in the wash bag kit that I showed you earlier, I basically took out the cup. Uh, if you scroll down in my videos and check out the wash bag survival kit, I've actually combined it into being a survival kit as well as a hygiene kit for my camping. So, in here, I have a nice towel quite a good size towel this is the small towel but it does me fine and I've also got a face flannel right here with the carry more uh, cloth right here so everything else in there is um, I do have lighters and fire starting stuff in here as well so it, everything else in there is exactly the same as the wash bag survival kit uh, but in addition I've just added a towel 
and a face towel in there as well. Just a few more things to talk about. I've decided to take the camera in my hand and go freestyle without the the camera stand. Um, this bag down here, I told you earlier that I will show you what I've got in there. And basically, what I've got in there is a beanie, a balaclava, and a snuddy, and uh, in a bag, and that's part of my clothing. What I'll do is I'll come over the clothing section and show you quickly again. I've got the Solomon boots, I've got the hat just above the boots, the knee pads, the shamag, the jacket, the spare socks, the, the gaiters there to your right hand side above the water filter kit, the spare socks, and down here I have the gloves, like I showed you earlier. So I've got a couple of pairs of gloves there, and these gloves here at the top, you can actually use them with your phone. You can actually use your fingertips on your phone if it's cold. So that's the clothing section right there. And like I said, within this little pouch here, I've got a snuddy balaclava and um, a beanie hat in there as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come out and show you everything that's on the table as best as I can. I'll start from your left hand side. Like I showed you the shelter section. If there's anything in the video that you want to know about, just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you and uh, tell you where I got it. If you want to know how much or where I bought them from or anything about them, just leave, leave a comment below. But yeah, fantastic bag. Got it for £38, normally £160 plus, and I picked it up for £38. Bargain. Look out for the bargains. So, like I said, the shelter section, the sleeping system right there, the first aid, the lights, the snacks, the spare batteries, the chem lights, reading stuff there as well, notepad, pens, safety glasses, headlamp, my BCB mini mess box right there, very good bit of kit just in case. And like I said, if I've got to dump the main kit, Obviously I'll have the clothes with me and my cargo pants. I'll be able to get quite a few bits and bobs in there like snacks, my torch I'll have in my pocket. I'll also carry this kit right here with me if I need to dump this pouch. And I could also, I could actually put these little small um, bivvy bag right here in my cargo pockets or on my jacket pockets and just have a little mini sleep system right there. I mean this kit's so versatile actually. There's a lot of things I can do with this. Um, my food cooking system right there, my food bag right there, the pots and pans, a cup, the water uh, bottle, folding water bottle bag right there, the Sawyer Mini, dog bowls, lights, and of course, you know, haven't forgot, I will be bringing dog food with me, so I suppose the kit will be even more heavier. Like I was saying at the beginning of the video, 37.5 pounds without the water so I suppose all in we're looking at around about 45 pounds okay which some people might think is heavy I don't know approximately 20 kilos it's not that heavy considering what it can do and it, like I said it's set up for the winter at the moment and if I really wanted to make it light I could just take out the basher um, which is just down here okay so quite an extensive kit it's been quite a, lot, a long video. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate you all. Like I said, I've been injured. So I have to catch up, playing catch up at the moment. But there we have it. This is my Carrymore camping kit. It's all weather. For the set up for the summer. As well as winter. Including clothing, which I just showed you. And other bits and pieces. If there's anything that you think that I shouldn't have in here, just, just leave a message, leave a note. And I'll get back to you. If there's anything you want to add, please just leave a comment below. Thanks for watching the video, guys and girls. I will be getting back to normal. And uh, I will be saying certain things. I won't be saying guys and girls as much, I promise you. You've got my word on it. Thumbs up from me. So, I mean, there's things that we, we as we're videoing, we get a bit nervous, I suppose, and a bit excited. And sometimes we don't realise what we're saying. I haven't got a script. So, just bear with me. Uh, my videos 
I will try and get them to be better and better as I go along, as I practice. I guess it's like music, you know, you make mistakes and then you learn. And then you, you, you write nice music or you play nice music. You know, no one's perfect, none of us are perfect. I do appreciate you all. Thumbs up to every single one of you. Thank you for your ideas. Thank you for your, for your love and patience. And, you know, I hope to see you all in the next video. But this has been my camping equipment set up for between anything from between 72 hour, uh, 24 hour, 72 hour. And I suppose you can call it maybe a bug out bag as well. Um, so, yeah, hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Take care. God bless you all. Lots of love and peace and strength. And look after yourself. Take care. Guys and girls, thumbs up from me as usual. God bless you all. Thank God for the grace. And in today's video... Guys and girls, thumbs up from me as usual, and as usual, there's another vehicle coming past. <laughs>